Bay Area scientists are using technology on real people to develop what they call the digital athlete. And as KPIX 5's Kid Doe shows us in an original report, their work could improve the health of the entire world. To all you weekend warriors out there, listen up. What if there was a way for you to keep on grinding, going stronger and longer than you thought you could? Well, some of the brightest scientific minds in the country are working on just that, and we got a sneak peek of the future at Stanford. We're going to have Lara do a biomechanical assessment. Deep in the bowels of the Human Performance Lab at Stanford, we find Scott Delp. He's a bioengineering professor with the confidence and energy of a coach whose team has made the playoffs. Excellent. Scott is developing what he calls the digital athlete. Uh, multiple cameras triangulate on these motion capture markers. They use the same motion capture technology that you'd see in a video game or Hollywood production. Yeah, great. To detect minute shifts in the joints, pressure sensors in the floor, force sensors, and also inside a specialized treadmill record the force generated with each foot strike. Electromyographic sensors strapped to the leg capture each muscle contraction. All that information will be crunched together to form a predictive computer model. We're developing a digital athlete. So we take data like this, motion data, force data, EMG data, and respirometry, and we create a digital model, a personalized model of the athlete. We can assess whether she is susceptible to injuries, how to improve performance on the computer simulation. We could make her stronger. We could induce an injury. He is one of the directors of the newly formed Wu Sai Human Performance Alliance. It's a dream team of scientists, engineers, doctors, academics, and athletes assembled from six institutions across the country and funded by a $220 million gift from the Joe and Clara Sai Foundation. The Alliance will spend the next decade designing, testing, and hacking their way to improved global health. And really unleash an incredible amount of scientific power to discover the biological principles that govern human performance. Another early development that Stanford is working on, a calorie burn measurement system using cheap off-the-shelf inertial sensors. So we have the two sensors, one on the shank and one on the thigh, and then we have a little microcontroller, which is sort of the brain, and it collects the data from the sensors, and it determines how many calories you're burning with each step. I'm more of an elbows-out person. So. Patrick Slade developed the calorie counter and published a study that found his homemade leg-mounted device had a cumulative error of 13%. It was much more accurate compared to smartwatches worn on the wrist that have an error of 40 to 80 percent. That's a pretty big gap. Yeah, so we think that this device will be accurate enough that you could really do some precise athletic training or better manage your weight. Would you go as far to say that calorie counts from a smartwatch are basically garbage? <laughs> they are very inaccurate and unfortunately they don't provide any information about that inaccuracy which is is kind of misleading for users but perhaps the one discovery that seems like science fiction come to life was made by dr michael longacre you're looking at the skin of a lab rat with a fresh wound inside the orange circle after 30 days it's developed a significant scar that cannot grow hair however the researchers discovered an existing drug called vertiporfin normally used to treat eye diseases that when injected into the wound of those lab rats, the wound healed with no scar and even regrew hair. We've really cracked the code on getting us to heal without a scar. We're excited, we're motivated, and I think we're standing at the threshold of a time when scars as we know them can be prevented. And here's the kicker. All of these discoveries made by the Human Performance Alliance will be given away to the public for free. We make all our data, all our computer simulations, all our software available to the scientific community for free. It's an open scientific project. That's the best way to advance the scientific field. Our goal is to really benefit all people all over the world. At Stanford University, Kitto, KPIX5.